Hello, hello, my sunshines. Welcome back and thanks for popping in. I am so glad you're here. So for today's video, I have another new to the channel subscription box to share with you. And this one is a kid's subscription box. I don't open a lot of kids boxes, but I told you guys at the beginning of the summer, I was gonna help out the moms and caregivers and grandmas and aunts and uncles and find really high quality boxes that would help you beat the summer blues. And so in looking for really great boxes, I wanted boxes that were gonna take your kids off electronics, help your kids be creative, but also something that they could individually play with, but also play with with you guys. And I saw this one and I knew I had to add it to the channel. It's so good. It is called Broccoli Box. Boxes. So this is a kid's sensory play subscription box. Now, I love a box that has two different price points to subscribe to, depending on what your budget is. They have their regular box, which is $55. Yeah, $55 a month. It's called their kit. And in that box, you're going to get a book. I love anything that has a kid's book. I'm a big advocate for kids reading. And then she stores everything in this reusable box, which I love, full of all the sensory items. So you can read the book to your child and then you have tons of activities you can do based on what's in the box. And don't worry if you're not sure what to do with all the things in the box, there's a parent guide that gives you lots and lots of ideas of things that you can do. But sometimes if you just stick some really fun things in front of a kid and let them be creative, you would be surprised at what they come up with. Now, in addition to getting the regular kit for $55, you can do an add-on for $10. So if you're a family with multiple kids, sometimes it's good to share, but sometimes it's peace of mind not to have your kids fight. You can add on $10 and they will add some more things into the box. So each individual child is going to have what they need without causing a fight. And if you want to, you can um, personalize one of the items in the box for $8. Now, if you're looking for something a little less or budget friendly, they have another kit that's called their mini kit for $30 a month. That one does not come with a book. You can add the book on for $6, which I gotta say, if you can add a book on for $6, you should always do it. <laughs> And then they, you can also add on the personal iced item for $8. Now they have the subscription box, which the subscription box for August is not going to be open until August the 3rd. So right now it says waiting list. You're going to go over to the waiting list, put your name on there. And I do have a discount code for 10% off. However, as a parent, I know when my kids were little in an elementary school, it seems like two or three times a month we were going to kids birthday parties so you can go in the shop and pick the regular box or the mini box i would grab a couple of those if your budget permits stick them in your gift closet because then when you have a birthday party that you've forgotten to shop for you just pull it out wrap it up and you're good to go if you keep your grandkids i think it would be great to have in your back pocket or think holidays anything that keeps your kid active i think is a really great idea so let's go ahead and open the box it just comes in this brown box that says broccoli boxes and then when you open it up this is the mini kit. So you see how it comes in this really cool reusable box. So this is a $30 kit. And then she did send me the book. This is the $6 add-on. So we're going to look at this one first and then we will look at the big kit. I think she sent me two different themes. And just FYI, I am giving all of my kids subscription boxes because obviously my kids are older teens to the local children's hospital here. So these are going to go to a really great place and help um, a kid who's not having the best time right now so the book this book is called chameleon's colors i was looking at how cute this chameleon is isn't this adorable looks like this oh wow the illustrations in this book look at the illustrations really really oh gorgeous How cool. Actually, I see a chameleon on every page. I wonder if probably he gets lost in the pages. There he is again. So you could probably look for the chameleon on each page. This is beautiful. It says that this book is $7.95. So you get a great deal for adding it on for six. And then here is the kit. So obviously you don't have, have to have the book if you want it, but I think it makes a nice gift. All right, and it's nice and heavy. This isn't like a flimsy Dollar Tree box. It's really nice. There's not a lot of like movement toward it. I think it's nice and sturdy. That's what I'm trying to say. And here is the parent guide. So she's talking all about color mixing in this one. So first of all, we'll look at the individual pieces and then I'll tell you what she has to go in it. This is dough. I think my son just 
stubbed his toe or something because I heard him shout out. Did y'all hear that? His dad's down with him, so he's fine. This is three different colored dough, like Play-Doh, sensory dough is what they call it. Premium, handcrafted, ooh, and scented. Let's smell it. Ooh, it smells good. It smells really good. So we've got blue, yellow, and red, or this is kind of teal. So those are your three colors of dough. Man, when I would make dinner when my kids were little, I would get one of those plastic tablecloths that you get at the, like the party store or Target. I would sit it on our tiled floor and I would just dump out all of the shapes that I had for Play-Doh and stick the Play-Doh out there. And my kids would play until I could get dinner ready. That comes in handy. You get a cute little roller. So my guess is if you got the bigger box and you wanted to do the add-on, maybe you would get two rollers, something like that. So you had one for each kid. I don't know what these are. See, these are one of those things where I'd be like, what is she thinking? These colored discs. You've got several little animals. You've got a moose and a camel and a, is that a cheetah? And then I think this box would be perfect for girls or boys. You have several little cups here with lids. Um, you've got some like leaves, but these are more like faux, several leaves. You've got rocks. Oh my gosh, my son would love, have loved this box. My daughter would too, but I love, sometimes it's hard to find stuff for boys. You've got rocks. You've got little tree, little like tree. So you could make like a little house or a mound for your animals to stick on and put the tree up there. Oh, here's the chameleon. He is clear. So he does camouflage. Oh my gosh, my kids, I still have these for my kids. I will not get rid of them. I don't know, it's, oops, I don't know that these are the brand magnetiles. But if you've never had these for your kids, they're blocks that make like 3D. They're so good, they attach to each other. And I dropped some, but there's, um, hold on, I'll grab them. But there's a ton of these, like five of these tiles. And let me tell you, when you get the name brands of these, it ends up being like a dollar a tile. So you might look at this and think, wah, wah. No, these things are expensive. My kids loved these. Um, we have various colored popsicle sticks. And then we've got a piece of paper. Okay, so let's see the ideas that she was saying that you could do with it. It says, as parents, we want the best for our kids, but we don't always have the time to plan and create enriching and engaging play opportunities. At Broccoli Box, we do the planning for you, so you spend less time planning and prepping and more time playing and learning. I really like the idea of that. Then she tells you how to care for the dough. Okay. You have like an action list and then ways to use the book. So lots of things there. And then ways to play. It says use the magnetic shapes to build a house or shelter for the animals. Explain that the word translucent means to be able to see through something. So you got a little vocabulary in there. The circles, okay, this is what I wasn't sure about. The little colored circles and there's orange. There's like four colors. It says encourage your child to hold two of the translucent shapes together Oh, and see what color they make. Like you could do the yellow or the red and the, yeah, the red and the blue to make the purple. Repeat this with other shapes. It says use the chameleon shape um, and sensory dough to camouflage the shape. Or you can use paint, which isn't in the box, but I always had paint in my house, um, to camouflage the chameleon in paint which this will wash right off with tempera paint. Identify the shapes of the magnetic pieces. And then you can read to the child while you play, identify all the colors represented in the kit, discuss primary red, yellow, blue, and secondary orange, purple, and green. So you're talking about like mixing the colors. Engage your child in mixing a bit of yellow and blue sensory dough to observe color mixing. Use the animals to make footprints in the dough and ask your child to guess which animal made the prints. Now switch and you guess after your child makes dough. And then there's a quote that says, do not keep children to their studies by compulsion, but by play. Yes, I do agree. When you play with your kids and learn, it's much more fun. So I think this is awesome. And I love once you're done, 
it all fits right in here. Probably if you wanted to add paint maybe to these cups, that's what I'm guessing that you could do. Although you could cover this in dough and make it like a little mound or something. I don't know. Give give this to the kids and I think you'll be surprised at what they come up with. Kids are just so creative. So that was the mini. And like I said, if you liked this particular one, she has some of the boxes in her shop. I think the minis are $35 versus 30 if you subscribe. And the bigger boxes are 65 versus 50. It looks like this. It's got really great handles. And again, this is really nice and heavy. Great storage area. So if your pieces get scattered around after a few months and you want to use this for something else, you're totally able to use that. It says Broccoli Boxes Sensory Kit for Kids. I didn't really know about sensory play when I was a young mom. I think I just gravitated toward that way. We always had sandboxes and cups filled with water and things like that. <gasps> we have this book. This is a good book. The Knight and the Dragon. Oh, this is such a good book. Okay, so with Remember the Bigger Box, you get the book inside. Mm, I love this book. Here's your parent's guide. Now, this one is a little bit different because they wrapped it in tissue. But you're actually going to take the tissue out and you're going to make one big sensory bin. So you can leave everything in here, put the lid on it, and put it away. And it's really easy to use. Okay, so... Let's see what she says about this one. Well, let's look what's inside. She's got purple rice, which is great. We have a big rice bin in our church nursery at church and the kids love it. They gravitate toward it all the time. We have a really cool shaped spoon, which I'll take out and show you. I like the shape of this one too, because it's almost like a scoop. It gets a combination of a scoop and a spoon that will hold lots. And I like how chunky the handle is. Little kids will be able to grip that. There's a little, this almost looks like one of those ketchup containers that you get at a restaurant, doesn't it? Get that. And then there's a whole bunch of things in here. There's metallic, hold on, lots of them. Little metallic, um, what do you call this stuff? Pipe cleaners. Couldn't think of it. Then you've got wooden shapes, you've got a castle, and then you've got a little stand. Oh, the castle fits into the stand there. Okay, and then you've got tons and tons of knights and dragons. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look how cute. Dawson had a bunch of these little knights and dragons. I still have them. I did not save everything for my kids, but some of the stuff I did. There's rocks in here and gemstones. Like, look at this little gemstone and the little rock. And there's, oh, look at these. Little furry sparkly balls. I don't know what you'd use these for, but something fun. There's another knight. This knight has a bird on his head. He's really cute. And then, like I said, there's a bunch of rocks and crystals down in here. You can see the clear crystals, the black crystals, and then just regular like rocks. Okay. I love this book. All right, let's see what she said about how to play with this one. Kind of give you some ideas. It says, engage your child in reenacting the story using the knight and the dragon. Retelling and reenacting are great ways to gauge what your child comprehends and understands about the story. Ask open-ended questions as your child plays, like what, why, what if, what does this remind you of, what does this make you think about? Um, take turns hiding the jewels in the rice and hunting for them. So dump the rice in here and bury the jewels. Use the rocks to create the cave for the dragon. The pipe cleaners can be used to make fire for the dragon to breathe out. Scooping the rice into the cup is great for fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. Put the rice in the cup and gently shake it and listen to the sound. Empty the cup and put the stones in and listen to that. So that's just some ideas that she gave you. Like I said, there's a whole pamphlet here of the different things you can do, but I love this. I think, like I said, if you are a caretaker or even a grandma that just has your kids like every once in a while on the weekend or something, having something like this is so, so brilliant. So that was Broccoli Boxes. Don't forget, you can use my discount code for 10% off. If you wanna go over there and buy one right now, you can buy a kit, but if you want to subscribe to the August Box, 
join the wait list and then they'll send you an email once it opens on August 3rd and you can go ahead and get your boxes shipped. And I think she's shipping August boxes to her subscribers right away. So once you subscribe, you should get your box pretty quickly in the mail, I would think. This box was sent to me for review. So thank you to Broccoli Boxes for that. And I will see you soon for another video, guys. Bye-bye.